Hey, what's up, everybody? Um, I know I didn't talk about much of the moves or didn't, you know, report it that much this week. Um, of course, like, they signed it, their rookie, uh, Georgie, or something like that, from Greece. So I guess he signed, too, like a rookie contract, like three years or something like that. Um, also, today that happened is Tenacious has resigned with the Bucks for a two-year deal. Um, don't know how much it is. They didn't announce that yet. So hopefully we get something soon, and I will, you know, talk about that. Um, but mainly today um, we're going to talk about um, – this article that said five buyout candidates in their best destinations. And they're just saying John Wall to the Clippers, Kevin Love to the Lakers, et cetera, et cetera. But the reason I'm um, talking about this article because you got um, the Bucks involved with somebody. I don't know if you see that picture. Uh, I think that's um, that is young. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to read like the um, article and see what they said. Okay. Um, Let's see. Um, they talk. I guess it would be a good, like you know, backup point, uh, point guard for um Chris Paul. So not bad. Um, I stared at showing the lip as Ricky Rubio has to think about his value has soared. There had to be teams watching the hope and Rubio can agree on a buyout with the remaining seventeen million on this deal. Um. Why they still got the Timberwolves are going to be back next year? Rubio Sally is too much more. They traded Ricky Rubio. I don't know. Did the trade get canned or something? I don't know. But I know um he's been traded. So I just can't remember what team he's going to be traded to. But I don't know. In his first year playing on the Monte Williams, um, he averaged career highs in points and dish out. You know, points he had 13 points a game and dish out 8.8 assists per game. Cameron Payne is a much better shooting guard than Landry Samick, which will allow Payne to move from the one guard to the two guard, making room for Rubio. With the NBA Finals aspirations, again, Ricky Rubio is a proven veteran that could contribute right away with a familiar team. Okay, and this is one of the reasons that we wanted to talk about. That is young to the Milwaukee Bucks. His last year status was 12 points a game, 6.2 rebounds, uh, four assists, uh, one one point one steal, and a little over almost a block a game. So let's see what they said. Um, and I probably will talk about it a little bit in a minute too. So there were times that Dad Young was a point forward for the Chicago Bulls last year. He shot a career high of 55.9 from the field when he assisted. Were almost career best. Young is one of the best post players and can pass the ball. At 33 years old, he doesn't provide much value to the Spurs team that is trying to play well, play younger guys. However, he provides strong value to the Bucks team trying to defend their title. Pat Content is technically a backup shooting guard in a small fourth, despite the addition of Grayson Allen. Regardless, Young is much more a complete player at the small four and can even really play a little bit of power for it if needed as well. Well, this would be a good thing for them to like to get, you know, some of like a combo forward. So, which, like, I know they already got that in Sammy. Um, I can't pronounce his last name. So, the, the, guard, the guy they got from Boston. So, I'll get used to his name eventually. But it seems like they got that in the combo forward in him. But, but like, seeing like the Thaddeus Young that got a career high of 55.9%. So they would probably would need some scoring plus like post up player and like I don't know how his defense is, but he probably that got that size, you know, like I think he's six seven, six eight. But yeah, interesting enough that you know that um if they you know manage to get him during the uh <laughs> during the season, then We'll see. So it's like too early in the season for, you know, but I guess like if they want to buy out or something like that, then they can probably can do that now. So, but um, yeah, it will, um, 
but the thing is, is like right now they got like a lot of players like signed or whatever. But I probably will look at that um like NBA trade thing and then talk more about it. Cause like I think you can have like up to twenty players signed, but you gotta at least have like um fifteen on the roster and two two way players to um for your team. So like they get up to twenty people, three of them gotta go during the um preseason. So I guess like if they end up doing it that way, like if they you know end up getting like that is young sign them for like. Maybe like a one year deal or like a veteran's minimum or something like that. They can probably can do that. But y'all comment below. What y'all think of that like, if if that is young end up being with the um Milwaukee Bucks either during his off season or after the trade deadline when he act probably act for his um buyout. Well, who knows? Um Gordon Dragic, um, of course, he got traded to Toronto, but I think, like, most likely, I don't know. I don't know if they're going to actually, you know, Toronto going to let him go. It all depends on how Toronto is going to do this season. But, um, but yeah, he'll be a good fit for Dallas. Like, they probably need that type of point guard that that's in his skill level. Like a backup, or they can do what, um, you know, of course, his connection with Luka Doncic is, yeah, they're both from Slovenia. I probably said it wrong, it's probably just, like said differently, but they can also, you know, they can be like play at the one, and like, of course, Dragic can play in the one, and Doncic can play the two. Um, like play like you know combinational guards and stuff like that so that's possible or he'll be like a backup but <laughs> but we will see um if he does then probably be good to go to Dallas but we'll see um Kevin Love um of course he was injured most of the season uh 12.2 points per game um 7.4 rebounds, uh, two and a half assists per game, 0.6 steals, and 0.1 block. Um, I don't know if the Cavaliers going to do like a buyout, but they kind of um, they kind of did like a buyout with um Andre Drummond, but um, I don't know how much they owe him and or they're done paying them, so I don't know the that case to be. So I don't know if they're going to do like another buyout. With um, with this time Kevin Love, but um, I know the value is probably you know take a dip due to his injuries, which it says it on here. Um, for the last three years, he only combined for like 103 games. It's, and I'll just read something. Well, since I was talking about Andre Drummond, like the Cavaliers failed to find a trade partner for Andre Drummond last year, and we saw how that played out. Love has 31 million old this year and 28 million the following year. So, okay, so Kevin Love has two years left. Um, if you're gonna negotiate a buyout and try to win it one more championship, that'd be something like, I don't think the Lakers would be, you know, that fit because it's like, it seems like they got too many forwards already and I don't know, but then again, who knows how much space that, you know, the Lakers have. Who knows? But um, I think the Lakers will not be a good fit for them, but maybe like a playoff contending team, maybe like someone like the Knicks or he can – well, although he's played L.A., he'll go back home to California. But I think like teams like um, maybe like the Knicks or Boston that would need like a pl caliber player of his skill set. So maybe the Knicks and – um. Boston would be, you know, should be the ones that go after him and maybe needed him. Or maybe Chicago. Well, who knows? But I can see those teams in the East, but teams in the West, um, yeah, he can go back to Minnesota. That would be something, like, have, like, your big um 
four with like Edwards, uh, D'Angelo Russell, Carl Anthony Towns, and him. That would be something. Um, John Wall, who's currently with the Houston Rockets, uh, has almost 21 points a game, uh, three rebounds, uh, nearly seven assists, 1.1 steals, and nearly a block per game. And to the Clippers, um, I think, like, the Clippers will have, like, too many guards already. Is like, how is Wall going to fit in? Is he going to take over the starting job of, I think, Patrick Beverly? If, I think he's still there. And they got Rajah Rondo, but I think they kept him this year. I'm not sure, but – oh, excuse me. It's like one of those things, like, how is that, you know, going to work? Well, you know, they got too many guards or whatever. Although he, um, sorry, that, um, he did play, you know, um, most of last season. Um, it's just like interesting, like they said, put them with like the Clippers. Um, I'm trying to think of the team that would need a guard if they're making it through the playoffs. I think. I don't know. Maybe Wall can start and have Patrick Bailey play, like, you know, the backup point guard or something. They can do that if they wanted to. I don't know. Part of me just don't see a fit with him and the Clippers. Maybe him and, um, like, we was talking about the backup point guard in Dallas or maybe, no, I wouldn't say Minnesota. I would say um, maybe Utah will be one or Portland. I can probably see him in Portland. Unless they want to, you know, have him as a backup um, point guard. Or let's see, let's see, let's see. I'm trying to think of another team. Um, eh, maybe Golden State, maybe. But the best fit for him, I see, will probably will be, as they said, um, they say Clippers, but I think, um, oh, yeah, and also, yeah, they have Reggie Jackson, but they have Patrick Beverly, too. So that's going to be, like, don't know how they're going to do that. So most likely, I think the best fit would probably be, I think the Knicks need a point guard, so maybe send them to the Knicks. Or if Charlotte is up there in the um, playoff contention, no, no, that wouldn't work either. But there are a few teams out there that probably will use them, but I just think Clippers is not one of them. Um, oh, I guess that is it. But um, what do y'all think of these selections, especially with the Thaddeus Young thing? So y'all comment below on, do you think Thaddeus Young is a good fit for the Milwaukee Bucks if he acts a bio and if they pursue to get him? So just let me know about that. Um, don't forget to um, – Subscribe and comment on the video that will have you enter in in one of our giveaways. So um, we have a Lorenzo Cain bobblehead for when we get to 175 subscribers and 200 subscribers with the Brewers t-shirt and Brewers mask. So like I said, all you got to do is subscribe and comment. If you already subscribed, all you got to do is comment. The more you comment, the bigger, better chance you get of winning those prizes. So spread the channel, like this if you like the video. And also, it was, you know, spread the channel as well and let people know that what we do. So like I said, we post almost every day or try to. So get more content in um, pretty soon. But then again, like with you guys is um, likes and subscribing and stuff. It makes me know, like, should put, like, more content on here. So thank you guys for watching and all that good stuff um, until the next video.